Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at the Wild Hedgehog Tactical Base Med Kit. Let's open her up. Okay, the Base Med Kit comes in a nice thick uh, lock sack bag. Has all the contents listed on the front. I'll write them all down below too. Let's uh, take a look and see what's inside. Okay, here's everything laid out. You have some antihistamine, some aspirin, Tylenol, a couple of antibacterial ointments, uh, first aid burn cream, some small bandages, one large bandage, a 3x3 gauze pad, uh, two sanitizing wipes, two alcohol prep pads, two iodine prep pads, a 3M Steri strip pack, some cloth tape, a tampon, ammonia inhalant, some, I think, extra large nitrile gloves, and a CBR face shield. Okay, I really like this kit. Uh, I got it on Amazon for $15 shipped. It'd be nice to add to a already existing trauma pack, which Wild Hedgehog Tacticals offers. They come in a Maxpedition bag, so they're pretty nice, high quality kits. I do like that they use that the lock sack bag. It's nice, thick. It's probably not going to break as easily. I do like the CPR face shield that they added. That I don't see a lot of kids using that. Uh, same thing with the tampon and ammonia inhaler. I don't see those in a lot of base meds or small The gloves that come with it are extra large, so it's nice to have a pair of gloves that should fit most people. The 3M stereo ships are pretty good. They're a lot better than the little sticker ones you get in most kits. Uh, the tampon can be used obviously as a tampon, but um, you can use it for gunshot wounds, you can use it as fire tinder. Uh, a lot of purposes. You don't need to do a whole lot to this kit, but I, I think I'm going to add some Tegaderm and maybe some blister skin. I, you can add some mole skin or duct tape, maybe some extra medicine, ibuprofen or something. But it's a you know pretty good kit. I definitely recommend it. Maybe head over to the website and check it out and check out one of their trauma kits. Thanks for watching.